Hello and welcome back to Urban Empire. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be discussing labor unions. One day, just as I've reached my office at City Hall, Simon von Filsen rushes in. Clearly agitated, he lets out a series of accusations directed at the labor unions. They just whine and complain. If it's not about the fines they get for shoddy work, then it's about better salaries. And if it's not about the salaries, then it's complaints about accidents. They're the ones who get themselves hurt. Nobody wants them to get hurt. That's just bad for business. But that's chicken feed. Now they've gone on strike. You have to put a stop to this. Do I explain that strikes are their right? Say that their demands are justified? Or go even further with labor rights? Well, the question here I guess is, what do I want to do? Do I want to say that strikes are their rights? Which they are. Uh, do I say that their demands are justified? Or do I go even further? Which is going to propose a right to humane working conditions. I'm going to go even further with it. And I'm going to propose that we have the right to humane working conditions. Which is the workplace safety law. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that to go through. Now, that's actually going to go through quite quickly. The everyone barring the uh, Free Democratic Party and the Young Swirlian Party, actually. Interestingly, that the interesting that the Young Swirlian Party is against this bill. But this is going to go through without too much trouble anyway. I would like to talk with the communists briefly about getting their support behind the animal protection legislation. I will uh, praise the positive effects behind my position and just say that, hey, let's support this a little bit further. Just to make sure that both of those go through. And uh, we'll go back and just speed up the game so that we get these bills going through relatively quickly. Now, we have just unlocked Dynamite, which isn't bad. I'm going to go for Personal Hygiene next because that's going to give us the Quarantine All Three Act and the we can promote Dental Hygiene as well, which will increase citizen health. And then dental hygiene is a general health bonus for the elite and the middle class. So we can get that on the go. Now we are making a little bit of cash, but I have just loaded my game. So the chances are that cash is going to go away because all of the bankruptcy issues are going to start popping up having just loaded the game. And as you can see, the cash is, uh, there we go, starting to uh, drop a little bit. Lack of confidence. What is this about? The Physiocratic Party councillors complain that the Free Democratic Party is untrustworthy. I'm going to assure them that the Free Democratic Party can be trusted, which has gotten me some appreciation from the Physiocratic Party. I assume for the Free Democrats there. Uh, hopefully we can make this money thing work. The budget has definitely been a bit of an issue across the board here and there. I would really like to find a way to uh, to solve that. Part of me thinks it might be to do with the city average personal growth. That could be a thing. Personal growth. Let's let's pause for a second and do some reading. One of the six basic needs each citizen has. Citizens require a certain level of each need, and the closer uh, the amount they get is to the level of the required, the greater the satisfaction of that need is. Satisfaction is part of overall happiness and influences how they uh, vote. The demand is 30. We're providing 14. So we do need to provide more growth. The demand for healthcare is 30. We're providing 15. The demand for this is 25. We're providing 11. Uh, the demand here is 27. We're providing 22. Uh, 29, 16, and 25. So that's, that's overall demand. That's what they're demanding. That's what we're providing. So I think we might want to look into providing more things, I suppose. I think if we can generally make the citizens happier, that might help. The problem is we don't necessarily have the money to um, to afford that. But I might look into it anyway. I might look into the one that is perhaps uh, the worst, which would either be... Well, I guess the worst one would be fun, wouldn't it? The worst one would absolutely be city average fun. So, I suppose we might want to look into providing more fun. We can look at edicts to do that, possibly. There are things in here that we might find, although I have my doubts. 10-hour workday. 
Do I want to propose a 10 hour work day? I might, because it'll give us a bonus to social life service for the working class, a bonus to personal growth for the working class. Uh, generally, I think this will actually bring the money that citizens can use on private companies down for the elite. But the elite aren't really the majority in the city. So I think I will propose this. I think I can get that through, no problem. We can... What's this Industrial Fire Safety Act? Sales demand for industrial goes up. Which is good. Safe, uh, bonus to security for whatever that is goes up as well. In case of fire, early warning can save both buildings and lives. Industrial buildings are often at great risk of fire with the corresponding danger of loss of life and investment. Smoke detectors should therefore be mandatory in all such buildings. Yes, let's propose that as well. So we have four things trying to go through Congress at the moment. Animal protection is going to be no problem. 10-hour workday, probably no problem. Industrial Fire Safety Act, currently a bit of a problem. So the old Australian party is currently on the fence. I will express my wish in a council meeting, and I'm going to do the same for the... Oh, I can't do the same for the Free Democrats. That is interesting. Let's try and get the young Sorelian party, who I, I can't get them to really do much either. I guess I will wait. Um, the right to humane working conditions is going to go through, as is animal protection. So what we'll do is we'll push both of those through Congress, and then we'll come back and deal with the industrial fire safety thing. So the right to humane working conditions is going to be counted, it's going to go through, and it's going to improve the lives of our workers. So, there is a demand change for health of plus three for all citizens. Brain power has been added to the university of plus five, which is good when we get one of those. And bonus to health service of plus five for all citizens. Good. So that's labor safety legislation, which has been passed. Uh, as for animal protection, again, it's going to be another one of these ones that's guaranteed to pass, basically. We're not going to have too much trouble with that, I don't think. And the vote has passed. So what this has done is given us a demand change for physical environment of plus three. Uh, more brain power added to the university, but a bonus to physical environment service of plus five. So I think we've maybe brought the environment quality up a little bit. Animal cruelty has been outlawed. So... If we have a look here, the 10-hour workday looks like it's going to pass without any real trouble there. And the Industrial Fire Safety Act is similar, so I don't think I'm going to have to interfere with those. I would, however, like to have just... A, there we go. So health has just gone up, and the city uh, average physical environment has gone up as well. Which is good. Uh, that has brought happiness up to one. So the council's ready to vote on both of these. We're going to get the 10-hour workday. Which, of course, the Free Democratic Party is against. Interesting, considering they are the Free Democratic Party, but there we go. And then the Industrial Fire Safety Act as well. Again, the Free Democrats are siding against anything that makes sense, apparently. But there we go. So that should do some interesting things. If we go back to the city view, uh, we have just entered Era 3. Interesting. The Great War was supposed to be the war to end all wars, and it was greeted with joy and excitement. Instead, it plunged the world into chaos that took over 16 million lives, and in the process transformed the world. Millions of men, less than women, led to, wait, Millions of men, less than women, led to the liberalization of society, and women for the first time entered the public life in mass. Yes. Carla Kilgannon, the granddaughter of Dougal, uh, Cla wait, Carla or Clara? Because it says, it says Carla up here. It says Clara down here. I don't, okay. Okay. Uh, Clara continues on the Kilgannon family tradition of standing up for the oppressed. One of the first women in Swirelia to gain a university degree, she is a vocal advocate of women's rights. Her commitment to the women's suffrage movement has left her unmarried, and most of her close friendships are with women. Very well. So, there has been some significant political change. This is going to be very interesting because they're also going to have to vote for their mayor. I could get voted out in this era. So, voted in, we have the Central Party, 
the Christian Democratic Party, the Freedom Party, the Moderate Party, and the Progressive Party. We have lost the Physiocratic Party, the Free Democratic Party, and the Old and Young Sorelian Parties. What's been made obsolete? The Work Safety Act, Loitering Ban, Surgical Hygiene, Financial Aid for Running Water, Livelihood Act, and Vagabond Services. So, and uh, service demands have changed as well. I think these are actually less than what they were. So we might actually see uh, people being... Yeah, people are looking to be a little bit happier. So the moderate party has won the election, apparently. Uh, we are now at minus 14,000. Oh, no, we just... We're apparently making some money up here now. Okay. You are Carla Kilgat. Apparently it is Carla. Daughter of Dougal. I thought I was granddaughter of... I, what am I? I don't know who I am. When the Great War tore the world apart and brought radical changes like an independent Swellia in... Oh, we're independent? Seriously? We've had Swegsit? All right. In the flush of optimism, you were unanimously elected the new mayor. After all, you are among the very few university-educated women in the country and Swellia needs to use its full potential in order to survive. What is the first thing you want to reform to make the world, or at least Kilgannon, a better place. I think people should be free to be whoever they are, which has added a bonus to personal growth for the youth, for adults. We've got a bonus to the security service, a minus apparently for the elderly. We have bonus to social life for adults and the youth. Good. Good. Let's keep that going. So people generally aren't happy at the moment. Oh, hello. Decriminalize same-sex relationships. We are going to repeal the laws against homosexuality. Yes, that is exactly what we're going to do. We'll deal with that in just a second. Let me pause the game and have a quick read here. So, right now there is higher demand for everything than there was previously. I feel like we need to deal with the city average fun so i would like to go over to elsto and i'm going to propose that we modify this district with a service i am going to propose that we add a what can i add in here that's fun the theater i propose we add a theater why am I saying that? I'm saying that v the theater. I'm proposing that we add a theater to the district. Uh, but I do. I propose we add a theater. So, we'll throw it in there. Uh, that is going to be kind of pricey. I don't know if we can do it. We might have to raise taxes. But we'll see. I'm going to propose it. For the most part, that should go through. So, I'm going to put that to a quickened vote. But I would also like to go to here and make sure that we are campaigning hard for no punishment on homosexual relationships. So, currently, the Communists and the Freedom Party are against this, as ironic as it might be that the Freedom Party isn't promoting freedom. We have the Social Democratic Party, who I have goodwill with. I'm going to say that most citizens agree with this and get them to come over to our side a little stronger. The Moderate Party, I have goodwill with them as well. So we will say that the city really needs this. And uh, the Central Party as well. We'll get them to come over and say that, you know, people agree with this. And hopefully that means we're not going to have to do too much in the way of campaigning for this. Now, let me just check that Modified District is going my way. Yes, it is. Okay. So this really shouldn't be too much of a problem. We should be able to modify this district. It is going to seriously hurt the income of the city. But it is also going to bring the average fun up in the city as well, which I think is very important. So, we're about to see our income get hurt quite significantly, but the average fun has, has come up a little bit. So that might do some good stuff. Maybe. It's possible. It, it could maybe do some good stuff. Uh, I mean, admittedly, what is this? The mayoral elections are closing in. Oh boy. Oh God, I'm gonna be put to the vote here. Let me just endorse this service a little bit to make it a little bit more effective for the city. There we go. Alright. So let's have a look at this. How's this going? 
Interesting that the Christian Democratic Party are sort of siding towards approve on this. Uh, let's say this is what the city desperately needs and stick with that. Okay, I think I'm also going to have to pass a bill to raise taxes a bit. Which sucks, but we're going to have to do it. So I think the citizen tax needs to... Um, or maybe we tax businesses more. Maybe we bring the business tax up to like 20%. That would give me 35,000. Maybe bring citizen tax up to like 13. Or what about 15? No, that's going to be difficult. Let's go for 13. Let's go for a 1% tax increase in citizens. I'm going to propose that. This is probably going to be a fight. But I think if I can get this tax, this, this, this tax through, I think I can possibly secure... Kilgannon's budget. I can possibly invest in the environment a little bit. Possibly invest in health. We'll see. I mean, currently, even though, you know, there's a lot of swing voters here, I think I can make this work. I'm gonna go to the progressives. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that I just need your help here. I don't want to lie to them and say that this will help the citizens, because it really won't. I want to go to the moderate party and demand that this will improve our nation's health. That's not true, but I'm going to say it anyway. I'm going to go to the Freedom Party and just praise the efforts of my position. Let's see if I can get this through. If I can get this tax change, then we're fine. The world is entering a boom that shall never end. Interesting. Interesting. Um... I will say, with mayoral elections closing in, I do want to be very, very careful with what I do. Because if I don't have goodwill, and if generally these parties don't like me, then it's going to be very difficult to get re-elected. Very, very difficult to get re-elected. I would like to have a quick look at the, every party individually, though, because what I can do is spend some of my own personal money to spy on the other parties. And I'm actually going to do that, because this will dig up dirt on the parties that I can use to blackmail them. So what I could do is if, if a party is strongly against something that I want to do, I can say, hey, I know that one of your members has a thing for golden showers or something. I, I can say that to them and be like, you're going to vote for me or I'm going to tell everybody about it. So we'll see what happens with that. Let's speed the game up a little bit. Obviously, the spying is going to take a little while, but for the most part, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, interesting the way this is going. I don't really have too many options for what I can do here. I don't have that much. I don't have any goodwill with the Central Party. I have a little bit with the Christian Democrats. I have none with the Moderates, and I have none with the Freedom Party as well. I think we'll be fine, though. I think for the most part, this tax increase will go through. The Communist Party, uh, the Communist Party appealed as well, which is good, because the Communists are on my side with this. This is close, but this should go through. We do have three parties on this side, four on this one. It is a fairly close vote, but we have managed to, um, raise the taxes for everybody, uh, which will bring some good money into Kilgannon's bank. There we go, 12k. That'll do. That may force more companies into bankruptcy. Uh, what we may need to do is... Christian Democratic Party wins. Okay. Status of women in society. The end of the Great War has brought many changes to the role of women. What do I think is the greatest change? More relaxed social norms, wider access to workforce, wider access to education. Oh. I feel like... I feel like the wider access to... I feel like a wider access to education is very important. Because that sort of gives you the basis for a wider access to the workforce and wider access to social norms, I guess. I'm going to say education. I think education is very, very important. So that has given a bonus to personal, uh, personal growth for females. That's good. So what we want to see. And the vote's up. So, 
they are going to vote on a new mayor. It is fairly across the board, really. Let's see. So, do I get re-elected? Currently, it's even. Currently, it is even. I am going to get the Communist Party to side with me quite heavily there. That didn't really work, apparently. Uh, let's see. The Social Democrats... This will create a new future. The Moderate Party, I don't have much to say to them. Don't really have much to say to anyone, to be honest. We'll see We'll see what happens with this. When in doubt as to the we'll certainly see what happens with this. So we just get personal hygiene. Soap and water. We could start looking at Era 3 things. We could look into public health. Might be a good idea. But I haven't finished Era 2 yet. Let's go for Voluntary Motherhood. Because that gives us ways to support the poor. Even though we can't really afford to do so. What's this about personal hygiene? The earlier realization that bad odors are not the cause of disease has led to the revelation that in order to fight the health issues, preventative action is often more helpful than just treating the sickness when it occurs. There are several new measures that doctors feel are important for the population as a whole to adopt. Do we focus on toothbrushing, using toilet paper, or regular, we'll go for regular bathing and showering. We'll go for that one. So that adds a bit of a health bonus to all citizens, which is probably for the best. Uh, so, let's have a look at the mayoral vote. It is swinging my way, but only by one vote. I wonder if I could get a cheeky edict or something through to um to secure my place because if i can pass something that a lot of people agree with then they're going to be kind of favorable of me so we could promote dental hygiene but it does add some some funds quarantine authority act no i don't think we want that asbestos insulation will Efficiency bonus help companies sell more, but it does hurt health. And I feel like hurting health isn't really a great idea. Mandatory vaccination is going to cost us a thousand, but it would add plus two to health. Supporting sports clubs, lower class barriers, city curfew. I feel like we don't want to hurt fun across the city. Monthly city fund expenses, so it would cost me 20% more for fire stations. But people would generally feel safer. What about banning? I mean, banning prostitution is going to make have result in men having less fun. But women are going to have more of a social life. And in general, there's going to be a... Fi I'm going to ban prostitution, I think. Uh, that's going to be a fight, isn't it? Okay. Um, I mean, for the most part, it's going my way. Let's use a bit of my goodwill to say that Kilgannon needs this. It'll make us a bit stronger. Interestingly, that hasn't entirely gone my way. Curious. Very, very curious. Uh, now it looks to be going my way. Let's see if I can maybe get it to um, fully go my way. It looks like the banning prostitution thing is going to come in at the same time as the mayoral vote. That's concerning. Looks like it is going to go my way, though. As for the vote for mayor, I'm currently losing. Interesting. I might have to get a bit rough here. I'm going to demand that they support me. Which brings my goodwill with them down considerably, but I need them to support me. I am going to demand that... What's the biggest party here out of the three? These two are the biggest. I'm going to demand that the central party also support me. I need their support on this. I need to win the mayoral election. It's even. Again. I need the social... De I demand that the social democrats support me as well. I need their support on this. That's looking a bit better. Banning prostitution. Looking like it's going to go my way. This really could go either way, and that's actually kind of scary. That this could be the end of my rule. 
Uh, the vote for mayor looks like it's going to go my way. Let's get the prostitution thing out of the way because that'll give me some political goodwill potentially. Um, so yeah, that, that went fairly well in my favor. The vote for the new mayor seems like it has gone my way. Let's begin voting. This is going my way fairly comfortably, actually. But that was still... Oh, boy. Oh, that was still painfully, painfully close. Right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to look again at edicts. Is there anything I could abolish? Like, could I say that we don't want the safety authorities? I mean, what do we... What, what, is there anything we don't need anymore? Doesn't really seem like it, does it? Like, if we go to available edicts, raise workshop wages is going to give more money to the lowest class. Cha we're going to change the number of working class workplaces. But we are going to be spending 20% more per month on workshops. We don't have any workshops, though. But I think I might propose this anyway. I think I think I might propose this. Because if I do get a workshop, then I can provide guaranteed work for the lowest class. Basically, it provides guaranteed work for the unemployed. And it might be a little bit little bit questionable having sort of workshops, like kind of mandatory work. But we are raising what they're going to be paid for it. And it does give them money, which they can then go ahead and spend in local shops, thus, in theory, boosting the economy. So we'll see. Uh, I'm not really going to interfere with that too much. Interestingly, the city average fund just went down, which is a problem. Uh, workshop wages seem like they're fine. I'm very tempted to spend a little bit more money on the city average fund and see if I can bring that up a little bit further. That might be an idea. What, have we got anything in Thornton, Thornton to do that? We have got a small park. We could maybe bring the environment up a bit. Maybe. Maybe that's a better thing to do. Maybe bringing the environment up is not a bad idea. Although maybe bringing up a little bit of residential zoning would be a good idea as well. We'll see. Um, either way, confirm the zoning. We're not going to bother with infrastructure. We can't really afford it. We could afford a theater. But I'm thinking it might be a better idea to get a small park. And maybe two of them. Because we can afford them. And it would be a, a boost to the environment. Although it might be a better idea to do it in a different district that doesn't already have one. So maybe we go to our first district here. Uh, we'll just cancel what we were doing in that one. We'll go to your first district here. We'll modify. We'll say that we want to add a small park. So we'll see if we can add one just back there, possibly. Yes, we can. Beautiful. So we're going to get a small park just there behind City Hall. And uh, we're going to confirm that. And it looks like, for the most part, people are going to agree with this. I could use my personal funds... But I'd rather not. We'll go for a quick vote on this. Which uh, really shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, I think we'll go over to Aylstow as well. We can't propose that we modify this district because I assume we're mo uh, proposing that we modify the other one. Uh, so we have a lot of votes coming through here. Let's have a look and see what's going on. So, the no punishment for homosexual relationships looks like it's going to go through. Modifying the district is going to go through. Raising workshop wages is probably going to go through. I can do a little bit of campaigning just at the end of this one. And we'll see what happens. So we will vote to add a new park to this district. Which is beautiful. So that's been added in. Workshop wages. Doesn't look like I'm going to have to use any of my goodwill to get this to go through. It is because it's going to be a close one, admittedly. Actually, hold on a minute. What?! Okay. 
that's interesting. Right. Yes. Right. I could use 10 prestige. Um... Okay. Uh, that's fine. We don't have workshops anyway. No, that's totally fine. Uh, I don't want to have parties dislike me because I'm forcing something through without necessarily uh, having their agreement on it. Uh, so we have just added another park to the a park to this area. I would like to move to Elstow and see if I can get a park into this area as well. Because I just want to get some nice boosts to the environment where possible. So throw that in there. Uh, confirm. Propose. And uh, let's throw another quick vote at it. And uh, whilst that's going ahead, this park's actually fairly effective. I could go ahead and endorse it a little bit just to uh, make it a bit more effective. And uh, we have the modified district thing going through. Begin voting. Obviously, the Freedom Party are completely against it, all six of them. But we got the park regardless. So the park has been built. And the environment is up to uh, two at the moment. So, uh, no punishment for homosexual relationships. This one's going through. This is one that, if it didn't go through, I would have overruled because it seems ridiculous. There we go. So decriminalized homosexuality. Beautiful. So people are feeling a bit more free, basically. People are a little bit happier as well. My party support is at plus one. Uh, still a fair few bankrupt businesses, admittedly. Uh, but the environment's up, so that's kind of nice. Do I need to endorse this? No, I don't. Good. So we have a couple of parks across the city. Let's pause for a second and see what else we could do to improve these areas. Because this area here... I mean, we have a little bit of demand for residential zoning. So maybe I... Maybe we go to, like, Kill Ridge and we scrap a little bit of the industry. Like, scrap, try and scrap one tile of industry or something. We could scrap business as well. So scrap business completely in there. And give me one tile of residential zoning, which is that one. So confirm, 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 propose, and personal funds. So that's going to bulldoze those business, those um, industrial businesses. But we do have people moving in. So that deals with hopefully the little bit of residential demand that we have there. Obviously, that does hurt the budget because we are taxing businesses heavier than we're taxing the people. Uh, interestingly, that apparently hurt my budget a lot. What's this about a broken nose? A councillor of the Freedom Party came to the council one Monday morning with a broken nose. He claims, to have been he claims to have accidentally hit a door, but your assistant knows that he got punched during a drunken fight. I'm going to keep that information for myself because that's going to be useful to... Uh, to blackmail the Freedom Party. The Freedom Party, of course, the ones who frequently like to uh, oppose everything I want to do. So yes, that'll be very, very useful. Uh, I really would love to know what's going on with these companies at the moment. Like, some of them are successful, a lot of them aren't. And I just don't, I still don't know why. I really don't get it. But this guy here is low happiness. I mean, what, what can I do to bring your happiness up? I re I just, I have got no idea. Uh, that's the thing. I really, really don't. Mayoral elections are closing. What's this about flappers? Jesus. The flapper trend has arrived in the streets of Kilgannon as well. These young women show disdain for the generally accepted behavior. They like to dance, smoke, and drink, and most of all, date freely and have casual sex. Conservative circles are shocked by all this and demand that I do something. You're proud of the next generation of women who are bold enough to be what they want to be. So I support the freedom to choose is what I do. I have minus three goodwill with the moderates and the moderates are now at minus two disposition of me. So the moderates are much more likely to not support anything I want to do. Good. Uh, let's go for hydraulics up here. Good. The moderates are likely to hate everything I want to do. That's that's just, just what I want. Wimpy Mayor. What's this? The Freedom Party keeps tweeting and calling me a wimp because the party thinks that I'm too soft as a mayor. 
I am going to mock them on Twitter. Is what I'm going to do. I've been seen as cruel. I disagree. I disagree strongly. We have a little bit of uh, commercial demand there. You know, it's really tempting to look at one of these districts and see if I can get medium density zoning in here. It's really tempting. Christian Democratic Party won the election. Oh, dear. <laughs> that could go badly for me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no one. I do not have much of an approval rating, do I? Okay. Okay. That's bad. Um... Right. Why is the Communist Party not siding with me? The Social Democrats, I'm going to demand that you support me on this. The Freedom Party, I am going to conspire and try and blackmail them. Apparently that didn't work. I'm not a minus 10 goodwill with the Freedom Party. That's a problem. Um, the moderates have got some goodwill with me. Let's see if I can get them to come over to my side a little bit. No goodwill with the Christian, De Christian Democrats and no goodwill with the Centrals. Um, right. We might need to slip something through here very quickly. We could promote dental hygiene. It's going to cost us a bit of money, though. Raise workshop wages. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, we could try and support poor families. So, money that can be used on private companies goes to the working class and the youngest. Uh, monthly funds of 10% for whatever that is. Money for the working class. Money for the lowest class. Let's try and get a benefits system through Congress. I, I'm not convinced that this will work. What's annoying is that this vote's going to come in at the same time as the vote for mayor. Oh my god! I don't think I can win that. I don't, I honestly don't think I can win that. Um, unless I start threatening and campaigning really, really aggressively on this. I don't think I can win. I am going to threaten the Social Democratic Party. And get them on my side. I am going to threaten the Communist Party and get them on my side. I am going to threaten the Moderate Party and get them more towards my side. It is currently balanced. If we have a look at the vote for mayor. Jesus Christ! The Central Party is so against me right now. They're so against me. I did, I've managed to pull them a bit there. I'm gonna have to threaten the Christian Democrats. Do you ever worry about your safety? Come over to my side. I'm gonna have to suck some serious penis in my next term if I want them to vote for me again. But I am not throwing away my shot. I'm not throwing away my shot to be mayor again. I'm not going to go into Hamilton thing here. Um, I can't. I can't get them to side with me on this, can I? If I can maybe get support for poor families to go through, if I can maybe, maybe get my get the support for poor families to go through, then I can maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I can maybe pull this off. Because these are going to go through at the same time. 
this will give me a little bit of political goodwill. The problem is my threats and my demands have left the parties with a minus four opinion of me. And whilst the city is making money, the, the other parties are less inclined to listen to anything I say. The Christian Democratic Party is appealed has appealed the progressives. This is maybe going to win. I'm going to plead with them and try and get them to my side. That has not really worked. Oh, come on. I'm just going to let this happen. I'm going to have to let this happen. Replenish the earth. What have we got? The Christian Democratic Party has proposed a ban to all methods of contraception. No, I'm going to... Oh, God. So, proposed... A so, what do we do with this? So, opposing this... I'm going to... I'm going to oppose the ban? Which, annoyingly, I'm... Everyone sides... Oh, my God. Begin voting. So... This looks like we're going to lose. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um right. That means I'm I'm not going to be I'm not going to be mayor. I think that means game over. Plead. Come on. Oh, oh, I, I just turned it around. No, I'm going to be voted in. I could be voted in here. There's a lot of undecideds. There's a lot of undecideds. Oh, no, hold on. The swing voters might not go my way, though. Do I have goodwill with any of them? I have a chance. I have a chance. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Come on. Come on! Give... I've won. I have won. Oh, my God. Every party was against me. Look at this compass. Everyone was against me. I just went full Frank Underwood on this, and I won! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. I need to suck some serious dick to get back in next time, though. <laughs> okay, right. This is where the fun begins, ladies and gentlemen. This is where the fun begins. <laughs>